All right, folks, buckle up, lean on back, and grab some popcorn. It was a big night of high school football right here on the Grand Strand. Ranked teams going toe-to-toe -to -toe out the PD. Rivalries renewed. This is the End Zone. I'm your host, Brandon Dunn. Casey Hintz will join us in just a few minutes as we start things off with a rivalry in the making years down the road. But I tell you what, tonight was the night everyone thought was going to be last year, but due to Hurricane Florence, the game was was canceled two years in the making. Myrtle Beach ranked number one, the defending state champs in class 4A, taking on Carolina Forest, arguably their best team in school history. Both teams perfect to date. It is the ABC 15 end zone game of the week. And here come those Panthers looking uh, to remain perfect, hoping to knock off that young man and the Seahawks. Luke Doty and company, here they come. How would the hype handle for both teams? Well, to start things off, the Panthers defense comes up big. Luke Doty with the interception. You don't see that very often. It leads to a uh, Mason Garcia touchdown. And just like that, yeah, the Black Hole and company up 7-3. After a few possessions later, Panthers offense off and running again. Brown takes the handoff. He finds Pater. And it's 14-3 Carolina Forest. Oh, yeah, they're up and looking good. Panthers all over the Seahawks defense. How would they respond, though, on the ensuing kickoff? Xavion Knox finds a hole, hits the sideline, jukes the kicker, and you're not going to catch him. Number one, all the win for six. Talk about swinging the momentum. 14-10 Panthers in the next two minutes were quite interesting. Panthers next would fumble. That would set up a Luke Doty. Touchdown to Darius Hugh. Up for the grab. That combo working all night long. And at the half, the Seahawks led 23-14. Seahawks pick up right where they left off to start the second half. Doty back to another strike to number 88. That touchdown there extends the lead to 36-14. But here comes Mason Garcia. The ECQ commits, not going to let his team go out without a fight. He looked like he fumbled it, then he airs one out. And look who's on the other end of that one. Josh Murphy walks it in. And just like that, my friends, it's 36-28. The ball game still very much in doubt. That is until J.J. Jones put this one to bed on that beautiful throw by Luke Doty. And just like that, Myrtle Beach goes on to win this one 43-28 over Carolina Forest. The hype was real. Both of these teams left it all out on the field as the Seahawks improved to 3-0, dropping the Panthers to 2-1. Myrtle Beach. Well, they are going to be back home next week. First time they will be at home all season long as they prepare to take on Conway in the Liberty Bell. Yeah, that's for the Victory Bell. Excuse me. That will be the Friday Night Lights game of the week. So a 7.05 start next week at Doug Shaw Memorial. As for Carolina Force, back on the road as they will travel to Loris to take on Jamie Schneider and those Lions. But this one, after it was all said and done, was the Seahawks game as they prevail tonight in the ABC 15 end zone game of the week. And that's where we find Casey Hintz with Mickey Wilson and those Seahawks. Casey. Hey, thanks so much, Brandon. That's right. I'm now joined by the winners of tonight's game. Of course, Myrtle Beach Seahawks taking care of Carolina Forest as they improve to 3-0 and on the season. Boys, how's that sound? Yeah. Yeah. guys. Well, it was a hard fought game. Carolina Forest. I mean, they put up a fight. Obviously, we're going to get to that momentum swing. But first, after when you address the team coach, you know, you said they fought through adversity and that's exactly the kind of game that we talked about earlier. There was going to be a playoff type atmosphere. Just, you know, what was the difference tonight for you guys? Well, I think the biggest thing we knew coming over here it was going to be a tough, a tough football game with all of our inner experience. I was really proud of our guys for battling through adversity. I'm mean, not something we've been preaching all week and talking about. Uh, just really proud. It was a great win. Carolina Forest has a very good football team. Um, um, my hat's off to them, but we're, we're just really proud to get a win tonight. I got to tell you, though, watching this game, you guys are down 14-3. And not that there, uh, there was not that it's a doubt, but I'm saying that momentum swing from Zay's, uh, that, that kick return, I think 84-plus yards is what that yeah. was. Talk about, <laughs> talk about what that did for this team on the sidelines and, and on the field. 
Well, I think the biggest thing is that we had some seniors step up and say, hey, we're okay, everybody relax, just keep playing football. That return was huge. Uh, Xavier Knox is a stud, there's no doubt about it. Enjoy having him on our football team and uh, just really proud of him for, for kind of flipping the momentum and flipping the field for us. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing that Coach Morris and I talked about was that this defense could not be overlooked. You guys had allowed only one score coming into this game, yes, but this defense was on the field for a majority of that first quarter and then they picked up that turnover and I think that's when it kind of turned around for them as well. Just kind of touch on those guys. Well, absolutely. You know, they really did a great job of being physical. That's something we preached all week as well. We wanted to be the most physical team on the field um, and, and I was really proud. Like you said earlier, they, they were on the field for a long time, but they didn't get tired. They continued to grind, continued to work and continued to, to be physical and that's the most important thing. Alrighty. Well, there's a lot of guys that uh, our HTC game ball could go to tonight, but uh, there's only one that had a performance like he did. So, Coach, uh, who gets our game ball tonight? Well, my man Darius Huff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, Darius, first, let's talk about that. You know, a lot of guys, you know, stepped up tonight, but you taking that to the house four times. Just, you know, talk about that performance from yourself and the rest of this team. I just uh, asked God to let me come out here and do something special, let me and my teammates get this dub, and uh, I left it to him, and he, he, he let us come out and get the win. It was a great team win. I've got Coach Mickey Wilson and the Myrtle Beach Seahawks. Winners tonight at Carolina Forest. That sets up the victory bell next week at Conway, and they head into it 3-0. Let's hear it one more time, boys. And we'll head back to the station. All right, thank you very much, Casey. Congratulations, Mr. Huff. Fantastic game by that young man, number 88. The difference maker tonight for those Seahawks in the win over Carolina Forest.